what is up. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Apple's in-store replacement program and kind of going over some things you need to know when using your Apple warranty. Okay, so when you buy, whether it be an iPhone, an iPod Touch, a Mac, any of the programs, they always offer you Apple Care. Apple Care is an extra package. Now, I'm going to be talking specifically about the iPhone Apple Care and not so much about the iPod and iPad, but they are about the same in policies and procedures. The iPhone Apple Care Protection Program will extend your Apple manufacturer's warranty to two years. Two years of hardware support and two years of technical support. So, when you purchase, but what if you didn't purchase Apple Care? Well, you'd still get a year of hardware support. You do get a year. Just anyone that buys an iPhone gets one year of Apple's awesome hardware support. And they get 90 days of phone support. So, what do you do if you have a hardware or software problem? So, here's what you do. You go in to the Apple Store, and they're going to ask you to make an appointment. You'll make that appointment either on Apple's website, apple.com, or through the Apple Store app, which is free in the App Store. You can go download it right now. I'll link it in the video description. Once you have set up a Genius Bar appointment, you'll go in. You'll want to get there about 5-10 minutes early. And you're going to want to check in with the concierge. They will be the people in blue shirts holding an iPad. Find one of them, and once you've talked to them, they will check you in. Now, if you have that Apple Store app still installed, you can actually check yourself in with the Apple Store app. Go into the Apple Store app. It will pop up saying, do you want to check in now for your Apple Store Genius Bar appointment? Just click check in, but still go to the concierge and just ask where they want you to hang out and wait. They'll double check to make sure you did get checked in. Then just go stand off to the side and wait for um, your uh, genius. Now, if the genius comes back and says, they'll come to you, they'll try and diagnose the problem. If, For an example, let's say, I heard this one yesterday, the volume button wasn't working. They could turn the volume up, but they could not turn the volume down using the physical hardware buttons on the iPhone 5. Okay, that's a definite hardware problem. So, the genius starts to diagnose the problem. She's going to try and check some settings in the phone. She's going to check anything she he or she possibly can. If it is a obvious hardware problem that really can't be fixed in software, what they will grab is they have on their belt is a little light. It looks like a little pen light that you would buy for like a 99 cents at any store. And they're going to check your headphone jack and your um, charging jack. So either your lightning port or your 32 pin dock connector. They're going to check that for you. And now what they're not going to tell you is what they're actually checking. They're actually checking for water damage. There are actually two water damage sensors, one in the headphone jack and one in the 32 pin dock connector. They're checking to make sure they are white. If they are not white, you possibly could be charged for a new iPhone at the $199, $299, $399 price point. Majority of the time you're not going to have water damage, but that is what they're checking because Apple Care or the hardware warranty does not cover water damage. Once they've checked it and it ch checks out, what they will do is they will say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and place your phone for you, free of charge, no cost to you. Now, what they will, sometimes they'll take your phone, sometimes they won't. 
But what they are going to do is they are going to leave for a minute, and they are going to go back and grab a new device. Now, you're going to think it's new. It's not. It's a refurbished device. They come in a white box in the store. They come in a black box when you uh, do it through the mail. But they'll come back with this white box, and inside will be a brand new iPhone for you. They'll take it out, they'll take the stickers off, and what they're going to then ask you to do on your old phone is to erase, check to make sure you're backed up and that you erase the content from your phone. While your phone is being erased, they will have you agree to their in-store replacement program agreement and sign it. You will have check a box, click continue, and you're going to sign their iPad with your finger. Click done. Once that is done, they will help you reset the phone with iCloud. It should reset. Now, you would think, oh, it's a refurbished device. So it should have gone through two quality control tests. One in the factory when it was new, and the second one when it was put back together after being stripped for parts. Well, yes and no. It is refurbished, but the outside is brand new. It's not an old case. It is the brand new casing. The only thing that is refurbed are the cameras, um, the A5 chip, A4 chip if it's on iPhone 4, or the A6 chip on the iPhone 5. All that stuff is refurbished, but the body is new, so do not worry about the body, for that matter. So, all in all, it's a really seamless process. It works really well. Just know that it is a refurb. Make sure to check it before you put your content on it, because once you put that content on it, you're going to have a hard time getting them to switch it again. And generally, they will not open two devices in one trip. If you want them to be able to do that, there is a little trick. And if you call Apple Care and say that you've had multiple devices and it's exhibited major problems just when they handed you the phone, then they sometimes will call the manager and actually work that out for you. My experience, I've never had them hand me a dead-on dud. I've definitely gotten duds. I've definitely gotten my share of dud phones. I've had a phone where the 3G didn't work. I had a phone that actually did have water damage, but not my fault. And I had a phone that... God, what were the other ones? The screen randomly dimmed. I've had phones that have had battery problems. Believe me, I've had my share of problems with iPhones. They fix you up. They take care of you. If you ever have a problem with the refurb phone, take it in. They generally will fix it for you or replace it and eliminate the problem altogether. Oh, and I also had the purple booger. I did have the purple booger issue. Basically, it was a purple dot, I guess, if you will, on the screen. Same position in any photo you took. If you do a digital zoom, it grows and shrinks. It, like, scaled with the photo. So, it definitely was something wrong with the sensor. But, I've had my share of iPhone problems. You know what? No iPhone is perfect. You're never going to have a perfect device. You know what? I had a friend who actually did make it through two years on one device. I don't know how he did that. I've never had that luck. But I just wanted to make this video just to kind of explain the Apple Care program and the Apple in-store replacement program because it's kind of a different experience if you've never had it before. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I edited this video all on the iPhone. I'm not going to import this to my computer. Just going to import it right to you, upload it right to YouTube from my iPhone. So, until next time, I will see you guys in the next